Welcome back to Simulacrum. We're continuing where we left off of trying to solve more goddamn riddles so we can beat chapter one. There are a crap ton of riddles and spooky spooks in this nice Silent Hill clone like game. But let's get back into it. Wait. This... It looks like something has ripped its way out of the wall. There's so much blood. Alright. The. Blanket cloths gave birth to something. Good thing I was coming over here for the third cloth, but, uh... Alright. Goody! Oh, God. My back is killing me. I'm getting too old for this shit. Um... Wait, what? No, you're not? What do you mean, no, you're not? Threw out... Oh, wait, that threw you out of here. Th threw you out... Of here, through you out of here, out of here, in here, uh, into, into you out there, flesh to flesh. Alrighty then. Some kind of incoherent rambling there. Oh, what the devil is that? It's emanating perilous want. I feel like I shouldn't be looking. The glass now seems more fragile than ever. But wait, but if this door unlocks as soon as they solve the clock puzzle, something tells me I'm going to be chased instantly afterwards. Fantastic. I seriously don't know where the other goddamn clock is. What? Oh, that's... It was just the sun. Oh. There's only three clocks, what? I thought there was four. At least I was right about the whole... Weird. Oh no, wait, I changed it. Weird. But, hold on. This... This is probably bad news. Okay. It's locked on the other side, so I need to go all the way around. Because this is literally where we're going to be arriving. We're going to be just... Yeah. We're going to be coming back there. Quite literally. Why? There has to be something that we acquire by finishing that puzzle, or else it'd be just like, what the fuck is the point of that? Because that puzzle... That door literally is that room's puzzle end. But this ladder still exists, so... Uh, hang on, let's just go through this. It just doesn't make any sense to me right now. The door literally is just where I was. So hang up. We go through here. Do we get an item? Is, is that why? We need a key. This door... It's now unlocked. I should probably save it, though. Yeah, it's right here! Okay, where's the save? I, I want to save it first. God damn. The monster's, like, literally right there. Um... There's no way I'm going towards the monster, risking possible fucking death. I'll save and then re-interact with the monster, because we need to find the last key. I think I'm going to have to change the clock in order to get this at least puzzle done. Apparently, you have to do the clock puzzle numerous times. But, uh... Let's kind of look at the clock one second. Right there, it's... M wait. Oh, I changed it. Ah, oh, Okay, they changed every time I moved the clock. I wish I could get a better look at it, but... second. Hold on. I think maybe I got a little clue here. The one... That was nine. It was in 1982. So, one sec... I gotta think about this. 
Because I think everyone who plays the game, I was looking at walkthroughs of other people playing, it feels like there's slight differentiations. Like, see... First, the second. For other people, this wasn't crossed out. That's the weird thing. And the eight and the ninth. Oh! That's, the red is probably when the sun is up. Blue. Oh. I think I've been doing it then sort of right, and it's a good thing then I went to the clock originally over here and flipped it before I started trying things out. Okay, wait, bro, not this way. Okay, okay, I think I got it. So if it's, if it was blue, then red, blue, then red. I don't know why it wasn't crossed out for some people, though. But see, I changed this clock. I just gotta do it again. Hopefully, hopefully. Because if it's 919, I swear it was 1 the first time. Then it should be 8, and then one of the zodiacs. And for that, I'm not even gonna guess the zodiacs appropriately, lining them up with what month, whatever they're in. It's just, it should be 8. And whatever the zodiac sign is, um, whoops. So, we'll see if I'm right, and if so, then this puzzle won't take too long. Let's see, this is on the 9, we just should go this way. And then move the zodiac clock, and it should be good. Hopefully I'm right. I wouldn't want to sit here and brute force it. Yes! And the last one should be a two on the English clock, but it should be... We have to do this four times. It's the only thing that I think is a pain in the ass, though. Because this video is going to be maybe a long version, or maybe I'll split it, depending on how, how much footage I actually have. Then it might be a four-part series rather than three videos. Otherwise, so this clock, it's 1982. It's 1982, right? Yes. Then it should go boop. I'll see if I don't need to change the night and day clock, but I really get the feeling I have to. But let's find out. Just by going around. Yeah, I definitely have to change that third clock. I swear there was four clocks, so I was like, where's the fourth clock? It's just there isn't any. Or else it would be on the map, but there's only one single map in this game. All the others are uncharted. The one thing I would say I'd nitpick about this game at the very least is there's way too many riddles. I don't want to imagine what the riddles are like in normal. Or hell, maybe if the full game comes out and they make it like a, a no easy puzzles, riddles, normal, and a hard. Fuck that shit. I wouldn't want to do the normal or hard. Usually the, the thing with Silent Hill is they balance scary, possible running, possible uh, action with times of peace and then riddles. I think there's way too many riddles right now. There needs to be the spooks and environment, the peace and exploration, and then the riddles. But it just feels like every door I go to is just another riddle. Like, you enter this room, it's a riddle. The key room is for riddles. The wolf fucking riddle was a riddle. And it's just non-stop. It's just like, stop, please. Otherwise, though, I think I'm done this riddle. Uh, I'm not a riddle person. Really, I am not. I think this one's at least over. So just... Alright, so yeah. 1982. Oh, you can just go back and forth with the third clock. With the, the sun being the crescent moon and the full moon. Or, I, I do believe it's sun. The round one isn't a full moon, it's a sun. And the red and blue is supposed to signal... Um, uh morning and night. Red probably being morning, blue being night. Also, we're going to save it before we go there, because I don't want that monster also, again, chasing us. And where was the save? Uh... I guess in the key room. We can use that one. I really... I think we're nearing the end of the game, though. Or at the end of chapter one. Alright, with it saved, I want to see if the monster comes after us. We can go down the stairs, obviously, but... Hey, let's find out. Are you angry, buddy? Oh, he's missing. 
It's gone. Through the door, maybe. Good thing I can't follow. Still feels bad around here. Looking through the glass now, so defiled, it fills the back of my head with a painful pulse, as if my racing, raging heart had surged up to my brainstem, reminding me of my most primeval and primordial fears. Hmm. It would have been in a weird dead-end room, so I mean, that wouldn't make too much sense unless he went in that room, then busted a fucking hole in the floor, but it's probably what he did, because he's probably down here. Down we go. Ooh. Camera is the aesthetically pleasing. Or mechanically pleasing, I don't know. But, ooh, last one. I can actually run around here. I, I'm not, I don't want to get lost. We, we don't need to be staying down here, apparently. It's all for a fucking key. All that riddle for a fucking key. The key better be fucking super goddamn important. That monster also has to be somewhere around here. But, otherwise, I don't know. All this. All just for four keys. So... I'm going to presume I'm going to unlock this, and it'll be an elevator that leads lower into the labyrinths. And then the game just ends. Wait, what? There we go. A door. Hmm, not an elevator, but maybe it's still an elevator. Maybe. Also, we're going to save it again. Wait. My leg is bloodied? Is that just from the experience? Also, do we have... We have, uh... What, what, what fucking stockings on? I don't think it's torn stockings and... Also blood smeared on the leg. I think it's from maybe the fall. Ugh, two hours. I was hoping to upload a video, but as by today's logic... In timing at 7:30 p.m. I haven't uploaded a video today, which will technically be, oh god, maybe two or three days before. Fuck me. But what's in here? Well, not an elevator, but it's a fucking hole. Uh, Sound Hill logic. It's the exact same thing. Jump on the hole. She just just looks like she didn't give a fuck. She's like, yeah, well, normally this would kill people, but I'm jumping. Stay and leave. Ah, the old man. You told me to follow you, but technically this isn't where you told me to follow you. Stay and leave. Did I ring these, or...? There's something written here. Stay. I, like, what, what the fuck do I do with those? Okay, old man. Uh... Our angel has come. Clothed in kids' flesh. And. It's you! Uh, you're not. Don't you dare walk out on me this time. Listen, you're the only other person I found, and I want some answers. How did you resist the holy touch? The gift that was to be yours? I don't know what you're talking about. Holy touch? Please, just tell me what's going on. Where the hell am I? Oh, no, dear. This is our sacred kingdom. Our paradise. For now, at least. Paradise? It's not exactly harps and clouds, is it? Expectations deceive. I can attest to that. But how did you manage to get here? Didn't you want me to follow you? That was not the question. <laughs> you shouldn't be here. Really? So... How... Are you warded? Using some blasphemous shield to thwart our angel? Yes. No, you just pull it out like to show this. him. Oh, it's... Oh, it's pure. And now she cannot seize her apostasy. 
Your mother, of course. Yeah. My mother? What do you know about her? I have seen her writings too. She's here. Albeit not in the flesh. Meddling in matters far beyond her right and light! Fatuous child. What are you even saying? Jennifer! Gave it to you, didn't she? The medallion. Can I have it? <laughs> no. All right, all right. So be it. Those corpses are pretty dummy thick. Wait, is that my doorknob? Did you steal it? Well, you brought me here, didn't you? You brought yourself here. I barely showed you the way. Then show me the way out! Now! Okay. Right through there, my dear. That's my apartment. Your ticket home. I don't understand. Okay, what's the catch? After all your effort to lead me here, you... You just let me go? You do not want to share in the sacredness here. You reject our holy order. I have offered you a light, but if that is not your choice, your will, I'd much rather you do in your heretic ways abscond. Fine, I'm out of here. Take the doorknob. Don't forget what you came for. Mm -hmm. Yeah, don't forget the doorknob, Jesus Christ. It was a whole stay and leave thing, so I mean, I have the option of staying? I got my doorknob, but what the fuck is with this? Stay and leave. Do I put the doorknob in this is my question. Hmm. Weird, why would it... Why would these things exist and why are they dummy thick? He might be fairly sane by the standards of this world, but he hasn't proven... He hasn't proved to very helpful. I'd rather not talk to him. Yeah, just crawl in, I guess, but he, clearly he's gonna stop me at the last second. Wait. Your medallion. No. You can't have it. No, no. Uh, listen, you... Uh, you must enter with the medallion first. Like this, like a lantern, to light the way. Bad breath, probably. Why is that important? I know that locket. Remember, your mother wants you to stay. You know it. You've read it yourself. Her medallion's powers, too close to your heart, would no doubt keep you from leaving. You might be right. Good <laughs> luck. And remember to live up to your name. You're doing it like the reverse psychology is fine enough, but. This is kind of weird and questionable. Oh. Was that thing supposed to be mother? I'm so confused now. The fuck with the dummy thick statue saying say or leave though? I thought I'd be having a choice or something. Mm hmm. Shit's not over? Well, this definitely isn't her actual apartment room. I'm 
Yeah, I wouldn't really want to go to sleep to a, an apartment room looking like this, but... So that's why it's familiar. I mean, it's either a pic picture of her or her mother or something. I don't know. I guess that's chapter one. Oh, God. I am fucking hungry. What the fuck are you doing, man? Chapters two, two fucking starts with that thing busting down the door. I'm not sure if that thing's supposed to be the mother or if it's supposed to be something else. I don't know. But nonetheless, that is chapter one to uh, a fucking simulacrum. Simulacrum? I, I don't know if I'm going to be pronouncing it wrong the entire time. Maybe I'll just type it in Google and Google and be like, "How do you pronounce?" And and well, actually, let's do that. How to pronounce simulacrum. Let's see. I always hate these videos because it's like 30 seconds or 20 seconds long just to say one word. Like, it takes so long to fucking load. Simulacrum. Also, Sim simulacrum. Simulacrum. And every time these videos are made, it's like there's people that fucking... It's got 17 likes and 9 dislikes, so it's like people are debating the accuracy of how to pronounce Salem Alecum to you too? Hearthstone brought... Okay, well, Simula Crum, right, right? Simula Crum. So I sort of right, that's like supposed simulation and crumb. Fuck, I don't know, Simula Crumb. Let's, let's say that's it, and hopefully I'm right, and that's the only time I pronounced it right. I'm leaving it here. I hope everyone enjoyed this uh, Silent Hill... Ugh, the Silent Hill clone game. Uh, tell me your thoughts down below, of course. I'm sure from part one, two, and probably three, and then four, people will probably already be telling me, wow, this game is this, or what their thoughts are, what they are criticizing their feedback for the developers if the developers actually will be looking at the comments you'd hope so but otherwise the aesthetics and the atmosphere and the lore i mean i don't know about the lore actually um more about like the world building is basically not the lore i don't know about lore yet but world building aesthetics um it's a, they're really good for a silent hill clone we barely get games that are as pristine like one-to-one -one accurate to what Silent Hill used to be during their prime. We barely get those anymore. Um, so it's really good in that. I would just want less fucking riddles and more combat exploration than riddles. And, you know, make it so that you get a break from the riddles. I felt like I never got a break from solving goddamn riddles. It was just riddle to another riddle to another riddle. I like some horror spliced in between, but there wasn't you know, riddle, horror, explore, riddle, horror, explore sort of thing. You need to focus on the three important transitions. Like, clearly the riddles are well thought up of, but you need the horror to spice it up and the exploration to spice it up. The exploration might as well be good, but the exploration just felt like it was from X to Y, from going the first riddle to the second riddle sort of thing, um, rather than exploring to, you know, because it was only one map area. I don't know how to explain. Maybe people know what the fuck I mean. Those that are more Silent Hill pros will know what I mean. Or maybe people will disagree with me. But nonetheless, I hope you enjoyed this game and look forward to, I guess, chapter two. There'd be no reason why I shouldn't play it unless i just really not in the mood for fucking riddles. But if you did enjoy it, please leave a like, comment, hit that subscribe button, become a subscriber, and the notification down below for updates on my videos. Thank you for watching, and until the next time. Um.